καινοτομία το θέμα σήμερα και έχω τη χαρά να σας παρουσιάσω ένα ερευνητικό ευρωπαϊκό πρόγραμμα καινοτομία στον κλάδο της οικοδομής και της κατασκευής, το Surfit. Θα συνθούμε τώρα με την Πορτογαλία, όπου έχω τη χαρά να έχω μαζί μου μέσω Skype τη Λουίζα Ντίας Περέιρα, η οποία είναι ερευνήτρια, ανήκει στο ISQ, ISQ Group, που έχει και τον συντονισμό του προγράμματος. Λουίζα, welcome. Welcome. Thank you for the invitation. It's a pleasure uh, having you here on our show. So, could you please explain to us what is Surefit project? So, uh, trying to do it briefly. So, the Surefit project began in September 2020, and it will end in February next year. Mm -hmm. So, I could call it a pioneering initiative that aims at transforming the way that we retrofit existing buildings to enhance the energy efficiency across Europe. So. We are familiarized with the fact that the greenhouse gases associated with the building sector account for roughly 35% of the emissions. So addressing this factor can and is, uh, I would say, crucial for making climate change goals. So the project focuses on developing advanced technologies that are both effective and minimally invasive, so making them cost-efficient and broadly applicable. Also, uh, if I can say, uh, I would say that the shortest part is its holistic approach. So we are not just focusing on the technologies, but also considering socioeconomic impact. So the project aims to improve not only the energy efficiency, but also the environmental quality and the overall comfort for occupants, so contributing to their well-being. I can say that the goal is to overcome both technical and societal challenges to make these technologies widely adopted. And finally, I think that uh, another important aspect of the project is that it aims at uh, impacting the educational uh, sector. So with the outreach efforts that we have been developing, we are aimed at raising awareness from the various stakeholders. And for the viewers, I can say that uh, maybe there is a um, we could okay uh, look for us at the project website uh, should fit project dot eu. Yeah, that's the best way to get acquainted. Yeah, that would be great. But how is Surfit funded, and uh, what countries who who, who participates? Oh yes, uh, so the, the Surfit it's a EU funded project from the Horizon 2020 uh, Research and Innovation Program. So. Maybe for those that are not so familiarized, these funding schemes support the development and deployment of uh, innovative technologies that uh, aim at tackling major societal challenges and, more specifically, climate change and energy efficiency. So, the project itself is the result from the collaboration among 11 partners from eight different European countries that bring together a diverse range of expertise from academia, industry, and non-profit organizations. So I'm here representing the, the project coordinator, the ISQ group, so a Portuguese entity, that is a private non-profit technological association that has a public utility status. But we also have, for instance, two universities, the University of Nottingham in the UK, and also the Alpha University in Finland. Other partners include, for instance, the AMS Solutions in Greece, Solimpex in Turkey, Winkle Technologies in France, also PCM, I hope I will not forget any number, PCM Products in the UK, Coster uh, Company in Germany, Fundación Santa Maria La Real in Spain, and last, uh, CGR and On Control Technologies in Portugal. And all these work together on the development of five demo sites okay, that are located in different geographies uh, in Europe, so with different climates. We have one case, uh, Social Housing Macra, Portugal. And then in uh, Greece, we have a small apartment building in Pedestri. We have a semi detached house in Nottingham, UK three new houses in Valladolid, and a prefabricated house in Finland. So this geographical diversity ensures that our solutions are tested under various conditions and that these can be adapted for the widespread use across Europe. Uh, it sounds a huge project, but uh, what are the objectives of it? So, from the beginning, the primary goal was the development, so the creation of these innovative uh, retrofit technologies. The idea that they are, they have to achieve highly efficient technologies, cost-effective, and easy to install. 
Just uh, an overview, so this might include developing uh, advanced thermal insulation materials, phase change materials for thermal regulation, daylighting loops to optimize indoor environment, and integrated PDT systems that generate both electricity and heat. But then, as I said, another objective was the achievement of significant reductions in energy use and greenhouse gas emissions. And we aim at cutting practically 50% of the energy consumption when compared to traditional buildings. But obviously, uh, also a little bit like I said before, we want to go beyond these energy savings. So we aim at improving the indoor environmental quality. So we are focused on the comfort and the health of the building occupants. And this can be translated in some by maintaining stable indoor temperatures, improving the indoor air quality, or even reducing the noise pollution with advanced insulation techni techniques. Also, okay, we thought of these technologies and we thought, okay, we will not keep them for themselves, ourselves. So we want to facilitate the widespread adoption of these technologies in different building types and contexts. So, this involves developing these user-friendly technologies that can be easily implemented alongside with providing uh, comprehensive guidelines and support to uh, ensure successful adoption by all the stakeholders that have to live with the technology. And uh, maybe as a final goal, I think that we uh, aim at promoting uh, the sustainable development. So the project focus on the broader, I would say, socioeconomic impact of the building retrofit, and this includes naturally uh, reducing energy poverty, creating jobs in the green economy, and promoting sustainable living practices. But also, I, I, I must emphasize this part, so through the education and outreach activities, Shortfit aims to raise awareness and foster a culture of sustainability among all the stakeholders and even the general public. And Luisa, we are running out of time, so I have one last question, which is uh, about the outcomes and the results of this research up to now. Well, uh, I, I know we are ending, but just to, uh, I think it's worth mentioning that the project hasn't finished yet, okay. okay? So it is still ongoing and many of these technologies have been recently installed. But uh, I would say that uh, some I will try to point uh, five uh, outcomes of the project. So the first one, and it was a challenge, it has been a challenge working on the project, has been the, uh, the development of these advanced retrofit technologies. So they are now being rigorously tested and validated, proving their potential to transform the energy efficiency in the built environment. For instance, we have installed in the new houses in um, Valladolid very recently, the PCM systems, for those that are not aware, it's a technology that acts as a thermal battery using the elements to charge and discharge energy. And we are now expecting this summer's data to unveil the values of this technology implementation. Okay. Another aspect, and this was a real challenge, I think it was the development and implementation of these five pilots across uh, different European climates. So we want to showcase the versatility and effectiveness of the retrofit solutions. And maybe the key uh, outcome of the Shurpit project, I, I must final out, is the development of a set of documents, so guidelines and best practice that offer detailed advice on the selection and implementation of the retrofit technologies. Uh, I would say that for the fourth point, and I'm about to end, we, I said already that we aim at improving the energy efficiency, but I'd like to find out that beyond this, okay, we are not just reducing the energy costs for the building occupants, but we also want to contribute to the broader efforts to reduce carbon emissions and fight climate change. And I'd like to make a point here. So the new EPBD or the EPBD request has just came out. Okay, and uh, it is clearly stated, so the existing buildings retrofit, it is the path to an effective greenhouse gas reduction in the building sector. And finally, okay, I might say that uh, so far we have highlighted the economic benefits yeah. of building retrofit, so not only including lowering the energy bill for the house owners, but also increasing the, the, the value of the properties and also through the job creation in the construction sector. So 
Finally, I would like to say that from the social point of view, the project has also been improving the living conditions of occupants and increased awareness of sustainable building practices. Thank you so much for the opportunity to unveil a little bit of the project. Thank you, Lisa. You will keep us up to date. It was a pleasure having you.